guys, welcome back to my channel. Or if this is your first time here, hi, my name is Dana. I upload new videos at least once a week. Sometimes I add an extra or two in there when I can. So now is a great time to subscribe to my channel to keep up with all of my new videos. And if you are brand new to the tea journey, welcome. <laughs> We're glad to have you. I have something else that might help you as well. I recently wrote an ebook all about the basics of tea where I explain where tea comes from, what the difference is between the different tea types, just all the little things that are helpful to know so you can like go into tea stores and explore tea with confidence. So I'll leave that linked below if you are interested. Before today, I have another tea to try and this is Adagio's Masala Chai. As per usual, let's get our tea steeping first and foremost. All right, now we can set it to the side, let it steep for a few minutes and check out the loose tea. So I guess I didn't really mean to, but I sort of left the most simple chai for last. I bought a whole bunch of teas from Adagio in September for my birthday, and this is the last like of the new ones that I haven't tried yet. And uh, masala chai is just basically a regular old chai, like what you think of when you think of a chai. I tried all these different variations. I tried like a spiced apple chai, I tried a chocolate chai, and now I'm going back to basically the very beginning with a, just a masala chai. So let's go ahead and read the description. It says, masala means blend of spices and chai is simply tea, inviting fragrance, invigorating flavor, warm finish. The ingredients are black tea, cardamom, ginger root, cloves, natural cinnamon flavor, and cinnamon bark. Cardamom, ginger, cloves, and cinnamon are like the four main spices in this particular masala blend. When I worked at David's Tea, my old manager explained to us that what makes a chai a chai is just the fact that it's spiced. So any tea really could be considered a chai if it has like a blend of spices in it. For example, at David's Tea, we had a tea called cinnamon rooibos chai. And that was kind of what sparked my curiosity because it was just a rooibos tea with apple pieces and cinnamon. So I was like, why is this a chai if there's only cinnamon in it? Like, how is that a chai? Isn't chai like the combination of like those core spices? And she explained like, no, it could actually be any spiced tea because masala chai means spiced tea. So could be anything, but this is sort of like the traditional route, what you think of when you think of a chai. Mm, and it smells like it too. Chai is such an awesome base and there are so many cool variations where they add like different things like they could add like a citrus, like an orange peel to brighten it up. They could add like desserty elements like chocolate or maple. There's just so many different ways like a traditional chai can go. But honestly, like does anything really beat the original? Like there's something about just a black tea with like that core combination of spices that is just so cozy and like familiar and warming and special. But here's how it looks in the spoon. You can see the cloves sticking up. It looks like they went pretty heavy on the cloves. Wow, oh my God, there are so many cloves. Cloves are the fourth ingredient. I'm actually surprised that it's not like the second after the black tea because of how many I see in here. Okay, so here's how it looks all spread out on our plate. I don't know if you can see the volume of cloves, but there are a lot. I see some pieces of cinnamon bark. Here's one. I see the ginger. I see the little cardamom seeds. I talked before about how Adagio seems to use the seeds, whereas David's Tea uses like the full cardamom pods. And um, Plum Deluxe, another one of my favorite tea brands, uses round cardamom. So that's always interesting to me to see the different ways that they, um, they all differ. 
it's awesome it's just a basic chai like just what you think of when you think of your regular chai so needless to say this would make an awesome latte but let's look on their website and see what information they could give us there adagio's pictures sometimes are pretty um i guess pretty enhanced like this looks pretty different than what's in front of me because the pieces all look so much bigger, but that's okay. It says, our masala chai blend combines premium Ceylon black tea with cinnamon, cardamom, cloves, and ginger. In Indian culture, masala means a blend of spices and chai simply means tea. So masala chai is literally spiced tea. Our interpretation tries to stay true to its definition thanks to a warm and inviting fragrance, zesty flavor, an invigorating aromatic finish. We suggest two heaping teaspoons per eight ounce cup, sugar or milk if desired. It wows me how many reviews there are on Adagio's website, like under every tea, it seems like there are literally thousands. This one has 3,412 customer reviews. And then it goes into that same information um, that I read when I did the spiced apple chai about like the ingredients and lore. It talks about how in India, uh, tea was viewed as herbal medicine rather than as a beverage for tasting. And how chai traditionally, like when they would make like a traditional chai with like the milk and everything, they would put the milk, the tea, everything all in a pot and heat it over like sustained heat instead of the way that we make tea where we heat up the water and pour it over the tea leaves and let it steep. So a little bit different. It's been really interesting to try all different chai teas and sort of like see what I like the best. I've tried some pretty interesting stuff. David's Tea had a little chai collection where they had like some new ones. They had David's Chai, which was like a sweet and spicy like star anise chai. Maple Chai was really good. It was a really nice chai with like spices. I think there was some orange peel and obviously maple. So, I mean, I really tried a lot of different stuff. I grabbed a couple from Plum Deluxe. Maybe I should have tried this one first to kind of treat it as a baseline for all of the other chais because this seems to be just like staying true to tradition, staying like the most basic form of chai. Like when you think of chai, what you imagine. So it probably would have served me to try this one first to kind of um, set the standard. I was so eager to try all of those other like fun ones that this one just turned out to be last. Well, a lot of the chais that I tried had an addition of like orange peel in it to kind of like brighten up the spices and I really enjoyed that as an ingredient. That was kind of a common one. But I am looking forward to trying this one because it's just like simple. Like it's just those spices and the black tea and nothing else. So I'm thinking like each spice will really shine through and we'll get that really awesome, nice chai flavor. So I'd say we could go ahead and take out the infuser. Look at that beautiful color. I love the color of tea, any tea, honestly. I just, I, I just, I never drink my tea out of an opaque mug because I love to see the color of the tea. Like, I don't know. It's just one of those like simple things that just makes me so happy. Like I would never, drink my tea out of a mug that isn't clear when I, whenever I have a choice. Like it's always clear glass mugs. But let's go ahead and give it a try and see what we taste. Oh, it's just perfect. It's kind of mellow. It's not overly spicy. It doesn't have anything like peppercorns or chili peppers, nothing crazy like that. But also it doesn't have any ingredients that like sweetens it, like no sugar, maple sugar, licorice root, nothing that adds any sweetness either. But I feel like cinnamon is kind of like inherently sweet. So we do get a little bit of that and like the cardamom, you know, those are all spices that are uh, sweet in a different way. Oh, it's so good. You know, this is just perfect. It's just what you think of when you think of a chai. Like the black tea and the spices just blend together so beautifully. So nothing really pops out at you. 
it's it just tastes like a chai like it just tastes like the perfect blend that you expect from a chai it's so perfect it's the perfect ratio of everything so usually with chais i kind of um describe it by like this is the sweeter side of chai or this is the spicier side of chai with this one i guess like compared to what i personally have tried I'd say that this is on the sweeter side because it doesn't have any like strong, spicy craziness going on. It's just so mellow and wonderful. And God, I appreciate that so much. Like after this long journey of trying a lot of different chais, this is like exactly the way to end it, I feel like. Like for my last chai, like out of this like, stretch of chais it's just it's it's just perfect the brands that i like like david's tea tea by daniel plum deluxe a lot of them like i love them because they're so creative and imaginative and they come up with combinations and twists that are unique and that are special and that you don't really typically see in tea every day you know and i love that so when i've tried chais from other companies they've been like twists and stuff you know like even david's tea they when i worked there they had chai and mighty which had like licorice root and was sweeter and then they had saigon chai which had peppercorns and was spicier so there wasn't really like a middle of the road it's it's always like a special twist so i can really fully appreciate that i have adagio to count on for all of those like basic needs you know like like if I just want a regular old chai, like they do it and they do it perfect. So I, I love this. There's nothing groundbreaking about a typical masala chai. It's literally ancient. It's literally been around forever, but it's just so, it's so necessary. Like It's a staple, you know, like to just have a regular, basic, perfect, perfectly blended chai just it's wonderful i love it i'm so glad i tried this like i'm so glad i went with like something quote unquote boring <laughs> i love all the twists you know i do you know i love the imaginative like interesting ones but if it's not broke don't fix it right <laughs> all right guys i hope you enjoyed my review of masala chai i absolutely love it um it is fantastic so let me know in the comments below what is your favorite kind of chai like do you like a good old traditional chai or does your favorite have a fun twist i really do enjoy this one but i have to say that my all-time favorite is david's tea's cashmere chai just because i favor green tea and cashmere chai is a chai with a green tea base and marigold petals and all things that like taste really nice with a green tea so that's my personal favorite when it comes to chai but if I was going like more of a traditional route, this might actually be my favorite, like black tea basic chai. I hope you are having a beautiful holiday season and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.